Hello everyone! So, today on Throwback Thursday, I'm going to show you guys something that's really cool. A real throwback. Um, so what happened is, um, you know, on my vacation in Tennessee, we, me and the wife one day that we had free from all the family stuff, went up into the Smoky Mountains and went on a little hike, looked at a cool waterfall and had fun. And then on the way back down from there and back into town, uh, went through this little town about halfway from like our hotel to where we went up in the Smoky Mountains, there was a antique shop and my wife was like, oh, stop. So we went in, she bought a bunch of like really cool old books, like from like 1910 and uh, 1930s, like really cool old books that were in good shape. She likes old books and stuff like that. Um, but as she was paying, I was standing there and I kind of looked at a counter that was right there and saw something that I was like, oh, that's really cool. But I was like, hey, I'm not going to buy it. Um, so we left, but then kind of looked it up on the internet and saw that it was very rare and very sought after. And I was like, well, okay. So the next day we went out there and I bought it. Um, so that is actually this. This is Hedden's Dwagiak. I, I never understood that word. Um, Hedden, obviously I know. But uh, the Hedden's Dwagiak, 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 whatever. Uh, Game Fish Minnow. And so this is actually just the box. And that was why originally I didn't buy it. Because I was like, ah, oh, it would be so much cooler. If the lure was in there, obviously. But then looking it up, I found out that this box is extremely rare. And, uh, yeah, and people are just, they really just even just want the box. Not saying I'm going to sell it or anything. Actually, this is just going to be like a decorative piece um, once I get a bigger area and more fishing stuff and whatever. I don't live here. Um, don't have room here. Uh, <laughs> but in the future, it will be something that will go like in the man cave or whatever. Um, fishing room, you know, tackle room, whatever it ends up being. But so this is actually, this bait was actually made and I'm going to try to find a picture of it. So if I did find a picture of the actual bait, you'll see it now. If I didn't, then you didn't see anything, and I just looked like an idiot for a second. But, um, <laughs> but I'm going to try to find a picture of it. So, anyway, this is this actual bait in this box and everything. is from 1912, came out in 1911. Um, this actual box was only made one year. Um, and, yeah, they had... A few different ones like this for years after that that were made for years and years for a while but in 1911 this was the first of the jumping fish box I believe they call it or whatever um, and this one is different than the rest of them because it's got the skyline in the background you can see the sky and the fish is jumping to the left the rest of the boxes are different there's no sky back there with the trees and all that and the fish isn't jumping like that it's totally different so this is a very rare box that was only made for like a year and they changed it so people are really that's why this box is like super rare and people look for this box um and personally i just think it's cool uh like i said 1912 1911 to 1912 uh it's really cool uh i wish the lure was in there all my heart I wish the lore was in there that's why I didn't originally buy it but um, just the box itself is really cool and extremely rare so I just thought I'd show that that's pretty cool um, I also as I was paying for this one it was like 20 bucks just for the box so you know it wasn't a cheap endeavor but I think people are paying like hundreds of dollars for that box so whatever if I want to sell it which I'm not but uh, as I was paying for that then my wife 
found an even older one, but it's just a standard box that really isn't worth a whole lot or anything, but it's like the older ones from like the 1910s um, before they started doing the pictures on the boxes. Uh, it's just the regular, you know, box. It does have the fish jumping right there. Actually, kind of the same fish style. But yeah, she just found this one and walked it up to me when I was paying for the one that I really wanted. And she's like, eh, check out this one. And I was like, eh, I'm buying that one too. Whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> no bait in this one either. Um, but really, like, who, uh, like, I'm sure these, whoever owned these, like, just think about who owned this originally. Like, of course, they were fishing it. Probably lost it somewhere. <laughs> you know? Like, probably lost that bait, snagged it on something, and it's gone. Um, but they, like, they took it out of the box and whatever, put it in their, you know, their tackle box or whatever they had at the time. They used it. And this box just got probably thrown somewhere, or they just thought it looked cool, so they might have, like, actually had it up somewhere in their garage or something. You know, or their barn or somewhere. You never know. Um, but that's pretty cool, but obviously it's going to be really rare to find the lure. Um, but I wish it was there. Still, I just thought it was cool. Definitely something old, retro fishing. Um, that is just a cool little collector's piece to throw on the mantle. Same with this one, too. Um, so I just thought I'd show those off. That was cool and talk about that box and why it's rare, and that's why I decided to go back to get it. Um, but yeah, there you have it. So, I'll see you guys on the next one.